Hello, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will talk about the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military officer, politician, and emperor of the First French Empire. Napoleon was a lieutenant colonel in the French Revolution and led many campaigns in the French Revolutionary Wars. How did Napoleon rise to power? The rise of Napoleon Bonaparte began after the French Revolution. Napoleon was the first consul of the French consulate from 1799 to 1804. Napoleon then transformed the consulate into the First French Empire, ruling as Emperor of the French from 1804 to 1814. The rise of Napoleon radically changed the political order in Europe. Once in power, he advocated for many liberal policies, such as the abolition of feudalism, the freedom of religion, and the creation of a central bank. Napoleon Bonaparte is considered one of the greatest military commanders and one of the most controversial leaders in history. Early Life and Military Career Napoleon was born on August 15, 1769 into a family of Italian origin, with his father being a poor nobleman in Ayacho, Corsica, Kingdom of France. At age nine, he attended a military academy at brienne le chateau He was very studious but was bullied at school due to his Corsican accent and short height. After graduating from the military academy in 1784, Napoleon trained to become an artillery officer at the École Militaire, completing the two-year course in one year. In September 1785, at age 16, Napoleon was appointed as a second lieutenant in La Fier Artillery Regiment. The French Revolution began in 1789, with an uprising against the Kingdom of France by revolutionaries due to social inequality, overtaxation of citizens, food shortages, a corrupt monarchy, and Enlightenment ideas. In July 1793, Napoleon planned, and was a significant part, of the Siege of Toulon, where revolutionary forces attacked Toulon, an important strategic port for France. The revolutionaries defeated the British and French royalists, causing the British and French to evacuate, and took control of the port. Bonaparte's victory in the Siege of Toulon advanced his military career, gaining Napoleon a promotion from colonel to brigadier general on December 22, 1793. Further Military Achievements In 1795, the French mob stormed the Tillery's Palace, the headquarters of the French Directory government. Napoleon was ordered to put down the mob and had his troops open fire on the mob, which quickly ended the attack with the mob dispersing. The defense of the Tillery's Palace from the French mob earned Napoleon significant acclaim. After his victory at Toulon, Napoleon was given command of the French Army of Italy, where he scored many victories against the Austrians. Napoleon attempted to increase France's influence and undermine the British. In the Mediterranean at the Naval Battle of the Nile in 1798, the British defeated the French, which ended Bonaparte's goal of increasing French influence in the Mediterranean. In 1799, France established a temporary peace with Great Britain, causing Napoleon to leave his army in Egypt in the charge of Jean-Baptiste Kleber and return to France to consolidate his power at home. First Consul and Emperor When did Napoleon take power? On November 8, 1799, Napoleon along with Emmanuel Joseph Size, Lucien Bonaparte, Roger Ducas, Joseph Fouché, and Charles Maurice de Talleyrand overthrew the French Directory government. The coup d'état resulted in the establishment of the French consulate and the creation of the Constitution of the Year 8 which elected Napoleon as the first consul. The Constitution of the Year 8 was approved in a referendum in January 1800, with 99% of the voters voting to ratify the Constitution. Historians dispute the legitimacy of the election because nearly half the French population didn't vote in the referendum. Lucien Bonaparte, Minister of the Interior of the French Consulate, stated that 3 million people voted in the referendum. The real number is estimated to have been 1.5 million. The Battle of Marengo in 1800, where the French defeated the Austrians, and the Treaty of Amiens in March 1802 between the French and Great Britain, secured Napoleon's power as ruler of the French. The peace with Britain allowed Napoleon to consolidate his power, and in 1802, a referendum was held to make Napoleon first consulate for life, with the French voting overwhelmingly in favor of it. After surviving many assassination attempts, Napoleon introduced another referendum in 1804 that created a French imperial empire, citing the assassination attempts against him as justification. Around 3.6 million French citizens participated in the referendum, with 99% voting to elect Napoleon as the first emperor of the French, creating the first French empire. The Early Reforms of Napoleon Bonaparte 
Napoleon Bonaparte, now Napoleon I, Emperor of the French, introduced many liberal ideas, policies, and reforms during his rule over the French Empire. Napoleon I reintroduced Roman Catholics into France, following the Reformation a century prior, allowing freedom of religion under his rule. Napoleon also abolished feudalism in France, ending to the old rules, taxes and privileges that benefited the nobles at the expense of the common people. On March 21, 1804, Napoleon enacted the Civil Code of the French, renamed the Napoleonic Code in 1807, which established equal protection under the law, freedom of religion, the abolishment of feudalism, citizen property rights, and removed all privileges based on birth. In 1800, Napoleon created the Bank of France, Banque de France, which was the first central bank in history.